Welcome back. You're watching the breaking news show right here on CNN News 18. We're now taking our focus to stories playing out across the country. First, we're taking you down south with some breaking news coming in from Karnataka, where we're learning that IT raids are being conducted on offices and the residences of businessmen and jewelry shop owners across Bengaluru. Raids are being conducted in multiple different areas. Maleshwaram, BL Circle and the Dollars Colony included. Raids are being conducted on accusations of tax evasion. And remember, in this story, it is important to note that very similar raids took place last week too with businessmen, jewelers, doctors last week facing IT raids in Bengaluru. Last week, among the places raided were the residences of two jewelers. This was one in Sada Shivnagar. Now, IT students also visited the stores of popular jewelers on Palace Road. These are all developments that took place last week. It remains to be seen if the developments taking this week, this week are related to that. The houses of real estate moguls were also searched last week. My colleague Akshara with us to bring us more context. Akshara, we were just telling our audiences that last week, 15 places also saw IT raids. Tell us more about the developments taking place this morning. Uh, well, you see, uh, we once again, IT officials conducted it early morning today at more than 10 places, uh, uh, including Maleshwaram, uh, Sanjapur Road, BL Circle and other places. So, uh, today early morning, they conducted raids at 10 different places. Uh, so, the raids are being conducted at uh, office, office space and residences of uh, you know, businessmen and jewelry shop owners. Uh, uh, so, right now, even now, the IT officials are still conducting searches. On October 4th, as you mentioned, uh, uh, a couple of days back, uh, similar raids were conducted at 15 places by IT officials. Uh, no, remember, remember, the IT raids were conducted on similar businessmen, traders, merchants, and uh, jewelry shop owners as well. Uh, and uh, these two raids are in connection with the uh, suspicions of uh, evading tax. So these uh, these uh, individuals whose uh, offices and residences are being you know raided by the IT officials are you know suspected to have evaded tax. There are there's uh, accusation tax evasions. So that's the major reason why these IT raids are being conducted. And uh, the phase one, which was conducted on October 4th, uh, uh, the IT officials received certain information. Uh, so based on that information, once again, they have conducted raids today at ten, uh, 10 different places. So the raids are still continuing. So we'll have to wait and watch what the details and the outcome will be of these uh, raids that are being uh, conducted. Now remember, the, the raids are being conducted mainly on jewelry shop owners and businesses. So we'll have to wait and watch what the outcome and the, the details that will be out regarding the IT official raid that has been conducted in uh, Bengaluru for the second time here in the past couple of years. Akshara, the political establishment usually has much to say when raids like this take place. Uh, Karnataka currently being ruled by a Congress government. Can you tell our audiences if last week there was such a fallout or not? Uh, well, you see, there isn't any uh, much of political reaction when it comes to this IT rates that are being conducted. As I mentioned, this is the second such IT rate that is being uh, conducted. Uh, there is no political reaction of sorts in this whole uh, no, IT rate that is being conducted. But uh, uh, yes, the, such uh, rates are being uh, much often being conducted here. Uh, as I pointed out earlier in the past couple of days, uh, a mega IT read uh, was conducted. And based on that, once again, we have IT rates being conducted uh, here. So, yes, uh, it's uh, completely devoid of any political uh, anger as of now. The IT officials are simply uh, uh, conducting raids on the basis of tax evasion that is being suspected to have done by these uh, individuals, jewelry shop owners especially. So, yes, based on that suspicion, these IT raids are being conducted in the IT. Okay. All right, Akshara, thank you for that context.